Shalom people, this is Brother Lyles coming at you with another video. And this is day number 21 of our 21 days of repentance, the Daniel fast. Yes, this is the last day. In a few hours at 12 o'clock midnight, the, my Daniel fast will be over. And, and I thank the Most High for helping me make it through. And I pray that, you know, that I'm, although I might not see it immediately, I pray that I have been able to do my small part to move things in the heavenlies and also to 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 be able to uh, make the voice of the Holy Spirit more clear in my mind in what he would have me to do for my family in these 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 dark days that we're living in but one of the things that um uh happened while we was on while i was on this fast rather was that one one day when i was making a video i had brought my wife along uh right here to this park right here where i use i make a lot of my videos i had brought her with me and she she just was going to walk while I did my video. Well, anyway, I had wrapped up my video. And this is this is about a week ago. And when I came back, she was telling me that, you know, her arm was hurting. That she just had this sudden pain that just shot in her arm and was shooting down on her, her whole, her, her whole uh, left side. And so I'm thinking maybe, you know, when she was walking, maybe something, you know, she might have turned something wrong, whatever, and didn't think anything about it. You know, it was like, well, you know, um, what, you know, could it have been an ant bite, a, a, a bee sting? You know, we wasn't sure. But anyway, what happened was she was complaining about it for like another, you know, another week. And then we also seen a, it was like a, 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 a lump, it looked like a, a, a bite on her arm. And so we was thinking, well, maybe it was an ant bite and she had a, a reaction to it. And, and so we was thinking, well, maybe uh, we'll, you know, go to the doctor and she was just trying to hold on or whatever. So anyway, it just kept going on. And we at night we would pray about it and ask the most how to heal her and reveal, reveal to us what was going on. So finally today she decided, hey, I got to go to the doctor. It's just been going on for too long. And so when she went to the doctor, Today, the doctor said that she had been bit by a black widow spider, not one, but several times, and that she needed to get started on antibodies because, you know, uh, it, could, it, could, it could possibly uh, give you nerve damage or it, it could kill you. So I thank the Most High for protecting my wife during this time because, again, she could have she could have possibly had a bad reaction and died or you know got some serious damage that was irreversible but the most high preserved her uh and i thank him for that and i also the fact that i i i, I can see the hand of the enemy moving in in the sense that if d something bad really would have happened you know i probably would have had to you know stop the, the, the fast and everything not that the, the 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 fast is more important than people but the fact that when you make a, a a commitment a vow to the most high he said defer not to pay it and i thank the most high because i was praying during this i said For, most High, please in the name of your son yeshua please allow me to complete this fast right and because i want to really you know uh do my part in in in, in, in you know as daniel did during his time of the 21 day fast that he was able to stir up the heavenlies. I really wanted to do that, but I thank the Most High for that. I thank him for protecting my wife. I thank him for uh, 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 that the, the healing is going to be complete and that there is not going to be no nerve damage. I thank the Most High for that. And also, I thank him for, uh, you know, sometimes in order for us to understand that we're doing something for the most high he has to let the enemy attack us right he ha he ha he ha well he don't have to he wants he wants us to understand that so he allows the enemy to attack us first and foremost for the confirmation that you are doing something that the kingdom of darkness doesn't like 
and also to exercise your faith because like i said we didn't know it was a uh, 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 a, a black widow bite. Uh, I definitely would have took her to the doctor sooner. But I thank the Most High that even though we did not, we did pray every night. And I asked the Most High. I said, and we we would touch and agree. And He held back whatever possibly things could have uh, happened to. Her. Which brings me to what our repentance will be for the black community, the Hebrew community today. It's unthankfulness, unthankfulness. And understand this, right? It's not to say that, you know, with us asking for uh, our reparations, us asking for the them to, you know, uh, change different uh, laws and, and things that they're doing that allow them to uh, abuse us. This is not to say that because we're asking that these things be done, that we're unthankful to the Most High. We're asking for stuff that is is their reasonable service of what they should give to us but at the same time we cannot neglect to be thankful to the most high for what we have we understand yes reparations are owed to us we understand yes that the police and other entities and agencies within not only just the, the, the united states but the world have been against us worldwide in the four corners where we were scattered but for what we have now we thank the Most High for that. We thank Him that we have been able to make it to the times that we're in. We thank the Most High that although, yes, there is some oppressive different things that are, are, are going on that we understand or uh, are warring against us, but that yet yeah, it is a, a whole lot better for us than it used to be. We thank the Most High for that. That, you know, it was definitely a time that you know you could get uh uh, 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 uh uh put into a a a uh a situation with uh uh law enforcement or, or whatever and be committed to some kind of uh un, un unnamed person that accused you uh of doing some kind of wicked D and that you could uh, 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 then, uh, uh that a lynch mob could show up at the, the uh, a prison uh, the jail where you was being held and lynched you. We think about those those uh, of our our people that was uh, uh, lynched back then, and, and from the from the, the end of slavery uh, all the way up until some say probably in the 1960s that um, widespread lynching. You understand? So, because I, I do believe it still secretly goes on, but you know the fact that at one time you you understood that it was certain places that you you went. If you if you wasn't uh, uh, careful, you could have come back, uh, not come back from different places you went in the south and be hung. So we thank the Most High for allowing things to get a little bit better, for allowing us not to have to 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 be able to have to travel hundreds and hundreds of miles without being able to stop at a gas station to get some gas and use the bathroom and, and different things like that. We, we, we thank Him for uh, uh, um, uh, n not still having to live in the s in slave, a uh, one room slave cabins, all the way, some people, some well, um, some people all the way up into the 1960s and 70s. We thank him for these different things. One of the signs that Paul said in the end, uh, we identified that we was in the end times. He said that men would be unthankful, unholy, without natural affections. <clears throat> and you see that the first that, that that unthankfulness was before unholiness and without natural affections. It was it was on it was on there before that, which means that the, the in the presidents of importance, being thankful to the Most High is not that. It, we nullify being uh, 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 nullify holiness, uh, nullify uh, sexual impurities, you know, be, you know, uh, uncleanliness or whatever. But that you can have people that are of other religions that has nothing to do with the Most High and the Son Yeshua that can be sexually pure, can be uh, in the sense of we want to say holy in the sense of what you know, eating clean foods and. And not talking back, biting about anybody or whatever, uh, being married to uh, one woman or whatever. But that because you know they don't have no relationship to 
the most high and the son Yeshua, they can't, they can't, they don't give thanks to him. They give thanks to their different pagan gods that they worship for what they have, right? Which is to most high, you know, he he doesn't like that. Think about our people when 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 we came out of Egypt. Right. When he brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand and then he started raining down manna and different things upon us. Think about when the, the water got low and our people started complaining. Can you understand how the most I felt that here I did all these different things. I'm raining down food onto them and I give them a double portion on the eve before the, the Sabbath. And they're going to they're going to complain like I can't give them water when I drown the egyptian uh, army in water what is wrong with them he could not stand the unthankfulness or even the fact that when he sent the 12 spies into uh canaan right to spy out the land and they came back and said, oh the land is good the most high is great and what he said about what the land looked like he said but unfortunately we can't go up against those giants oh no they're gonna they're going to kill us and our children. And the Most High said, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. These ungrateful people, not only are uh, unthankful, but have no faith in the sense that they seen all these mighty works that I did in Egypt. And they don't think that I can take care of these gi giant peoples. What is wrong with them? And so that unthankfulness is something that the Most High cannot stand. Although I know our people get on these um, uh, 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 ward shows and different things and say, I want to I want to thank God, you know, and, and all these different things. We got to understand the context and the mindset and then what they are saying. They are they are talking about some magical genie God that they can go out and do whatever they want to or whatever and 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 really what they're who they're giving thanks to they're not giving thanks to the most high in heaven they're giving thanks to the to satan who is the god of this world when they're saying thank i thank god they're thanking the, the god of this world they're not because did you ever figure that out how can we be so thankful to God and all this kind of stuff and, and a lot of the stuff that we we, we thanking him for it's, it's connected to evil. It's connected to evil. And if it's connected to evil, it's connected to the God of this world. It's not connected to the Elohim that we are supposed to worship. And he will not, he will not take the worship of those whose mind is set to do the work of Satan. He won't do it. Not only that, his people, his people that know him, his people that are supposed to be born again and filled with the spirit. We, a lot of times we are unthankful. We uh, are, 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 are complaining and different things. And I'm talking about myself sometimes. And that even in the uh, minutest or the biggest thing, we sometimes neglect to thank him. So we have to, and I'm talking to myself, we have to get in the mode of thanking him for different things. Even though there's gang violence around us. Even though there's uh, different things that's going on, right, in the sense of politics and food shortages and stuff, when you look in your cupboard, do you see a bare cabinet yet as a, as, as a believer? When you uh, go to the sink and, and cut on a faucet, is water still coming out? When you go to the bathroom, are you still able to, 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 to use it in the, in, in the commode or do you have to go outside to an outhouse and use leaves? If you if you know what I mean, it, when you when you go out uh, uh, side uh, to to uh, get ready to go to work, do are you walking over to your own transportation that you can get in and and, and drive to work, or or or, or you get or you you got a bus pass and you getting on a bus, or do you have to get out there and get on a bicycle and ride about twenty miles one way and twenty miles another way, or even maybe have to walk twenty miles one way and walk. Uh, uh, 20 miles we are unthankful people and this again does not preclude that we cannot petition and ask for what's rightfully ours when we're saying we we want to be treated right uh, by those that that we are asking a re the reasonable service for them to do to give us our reparations and to and to stop some of this br br police brutality even if they don't respond we're not precluding that but we said when once you get through doing that 
But don't just sit and feel that, oh, because I don't have this and I don't have that when I'm asking these people that you don't have in, in the sense of anything, you are you're definitely much better in the, in the sense of that if push came down to shove right now, right, and that um, Most High would say right now that we, we got to pick up and, and, and leave and and go off somewhere with just the clothes on our back, right? Could we still be thankful that we get out of this place before it destroy it uh, with with our life? Because I'm I'm believing that things could get that way. That one day, right? He's like, you know what? I need you to uh, go in your your bank account. I need you to get some tickets for this, 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 and I need you to get a one-way ticket, and I need you to get out of here. And then you say, but most high, I got this here, I got there. And then you just say, you know what, you mean to tell me I worked all my life for this? That's being unthankful. And the time could come that that's gonna happen. Think about the believers in Yeshua that after he resurrected and after Yeshua had given them the warning uh, and and, uh, I think it was Matthew 24, 23, when he said, when you see Jerusalem come past past with armies, he said uh, that you need to flee to the mountains. You need to get out of here. That it was probably some people that had a lot, uh, maybe had some things going on in that area at the time when he said get out of Jerusalem, get out of Judea. That it was was they unthankful or did they pick up and get out of there because you know what Yeshua said that this was going to happen. We need to do what he said. Yeah, we know we got this and we got that here, but we we are thankful that he gave us that warning. Now we're going to get out before the destruction of Jerusalem in 70 A.D. This is how we have to be. Uh, uh, thinking we got to be in all things give thanks right not in the sense of oh I'm I'm thankful that you know uh, uh, I got shot or I'm thankful that you know uh, uh, I, I, I I had a car wreck or whatever we 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 want you to use reasonable uh, 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 cognitive abilities in the sense of yes this happened and I hate this happened but let's try to find within what happened something that we can thank the most high for that he might have brought us out right so it's not it's not in in this in the sense of either or it's understanding that yes this is this might have been a terrible thing that I had somebody that in, in my family right that that uh, 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 passed away or whatever, but that when I look at their life, that I can I can thank the Most High, not that they died, of course not, but that they we know that they lived such a life that when they died, they was ready to go be in paradise uh, with the, the the saints and believers that's wake waking. That's what I'm saying. Our people, we got to be thankful. For with this because this is this is the thing that's coming right with these coming food shortages water shortages and different things the bible said never have i seen the righteous forsaken or his seed begging bread and in a sense of that we are, are used to eating a much larger palate than most people in the world when the most high starts shortening that palate will you get just what you need for the day right Right, because one of the remember one of the things that we was we, we was talking about gluttony. We was talking about one of these things that we definitely got to be careful of in this country. That this could be a blessing in the sense of you have so many of our people, especially those that call themselves believers, that are unhealthy and 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 and, and overweight. That when Most High start letting these things come, that you will get just what you need and no more. That you'll be able to say, well, you know what? Thank, thank you, Most High. Uh, I might not got as much as I I am used to. I might not be able to be be going to these different fast food places like I used to. But what I got, I am thankful for because we just be honest. We have been uh, precluded from a lot of different things that other of our brothers in different parts of the world have been dealing with a lot in the last. You know, many, many, many years in Africa and Central America and South America and the Caribbeans, where a lot of our brothers and sisters were scattered to, we 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 have been living in the land of excess in Babylon, 
And you understand that Babylon is worldwide and that everybody is emulating, but this is the seat of the it. And we we cannot deny that, you know, even the poorest of us here in America as as blacks would be substantially better off if we was in other countries where our people are at. So we thank the most high. We got to learn how to be thankful. We got to repent of it and repent of being unthankful. We got to repent of going out here and doing wicked things and 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 then like oh you know uh, I, I, I was able to do some kind of wickedness you know with with some women and get all these whatever or, or women doing wicked things or whatever well, I got a I got a half off sale on some 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 uh, false eyelashes and, and, and fake nails and all these things we got to stop giving thanks to y'all for these wicked things that's not being that's that's giving thanks to the devil we got to give thanks to the most high for the uh, the great things that he's done the wholesome things the spiritual things the natural things that he said the blessings of yah are, 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 are out of no sorrow so and in those things those things is not adding no sorrow and i'm not talking about if you were you know obviously like i said in sin but i'm talking about Somebody surviving a car accident, somebody uh, 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 surviving a, 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 um, a, a job loss, right, where they didn't lose everything because they lost a job. Be thankful. Be thankful. Even in the sense of that if they don't uh, give us the different things that we petition, we thank the Most High Yah that we was even able to, to petition because at one time, we, when we was enslaved, we was not allowed to, to read or write in order to even to think about speaking up for our own rights. But the Most High has given us such a, 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 a liberty and, th and different things, not like we might want, but that we have enough that we can stand up for ourselves and speak up. We thank the Most High that we have got enough strength and enough courage to be able to stand up for our rights. We thank the Most High for that. And with that, we're going to go ahead and pray. Father, y'all, in the name of your son, Yeshua, we repent of unthankfulness right now, Father, y'all. We can be some unthankful people, Father, y'all. We can be unthankful because we might not have got a, a stimulus check or something, Father, y'all that we think we should have got father y'all when we got a job you gave us a job where we really don't need that stimulus check you you we we might have not got that stimulus check but you might have allowed our rent to not have to be paid because of the different programs and stuff that they had out there father y'all so in everything father y'all we ask you please forgive us for those things that you have done for us individually as a people that we have not been thankful for we also ask forgiveness, Father Yah, and we repent that sometime when we did wicked stuff, Father Yah, we did unrighteous stuff, Father Yah, and we thank uh, you, or so we thought, Father, we, that we was actually thanking the devil because the devil is the one that brings uh, stuff that's destructive and, 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 and no good for us, Father Yah, and we do not ascribe to you evil. We know that you can only do good. There is none good but the Father. And we acknowledge that. Therefore, whatever you do for us, Father Yah, for your people, we are thankful, Father Yah. We are thankful. We ask you, please forgive us for being unthankful. Please forgive us to ascribing to you uh, evil and thanking you for evil things. We repent, Father Yah. We thank you for keeping us on this 21 days fast. We thank you for protecting our wife for saving our wife from hurt harm and danger father I, we thank you for saving me from hurt harm and danger and allow me to complete this 21 days and just like as daniel seeing the heavenlies move and seeing gabriel and michael and all those moving against these principalities father y'all i believe that during this 21 days that you moved and are yet moving on our behalf father y'all and i just add 
the little things that I have done, Father Yah, I ask that you multiply, because you said if we are faithful in, in a small thing, you'll make us rulers over many. And I come, I come against these principalities. I come against these different things that's trying to hold back your plan, Father Yah. Reveal to your people what what is the, the next step in this thing with us being here in Babylon reveal unto us Father Yah individually and collectively Father Yah what we need to do even as Daniel prayed to understand why the people was not going back to, to, to Israel going back to Jerusalem after Babylon failed Father Yah we know that Babylon has not failed yet Father Yah but yet we know we can feel something in the air that something's going to happen. And we, Father, they are asking for your guidance. And Father, y'all, we lead these things. We hold on. We thank you that we're even able to make this video. We know that when we began this, this thing, they put a strike against our channel. Hallelujah. And I wasn't able to uh, upload the videos that I was making for the first seven or so days but i thank you that they that i was able to upload and i thank you i was able to finish and i ask you that, that let them not pull down none of these videos that i have done and father y'all i know you're going to do these things i thank you ahead of time and i thank you in the mighty name of yeshua hamashiach amen and amen so I, if you pray that prayer i want you to believe it i want you to seek the most high and see would he cause you to might add your voice? Because we don't have to have one Daniel today. We don't have to have one Jeremiah. When the Holy Spirit, uh, when, when the Holy Spirit came on the day of Pentecost, right? He's been coming so that all those that would believe on him, right? That the Holy Spirit takes up residence in you. It's through him. The Holy Spirit that you are regenerated through the power of the blood, through the power of the water, through the power of the spirit. So that same spirit that was in the prophets, that was on the prophets, now is in us. So seek the most high and see that in, in the sense that he could be motivating you to do a three day fast or a Daniel fast. But don't do it arbitrarily. Right. Do it because the Holy Spirit led you to. And I really believe the Holy Spirit led me to do this 21 days fast. I thank all of you that watched the, the, the videos and I pray that you was praying along with me now. I want you to, like I said, continue to watch the videos. Uh, go back and look at my, I got a body of work. Go back and look at some of my old videos. Get old, leave comments on those. Give, give them a thumbs up, subscribe and share. And with that, I'm gonna say, uh, shalom and be blessed.